In recent years, five animal rights and conservation groups petitioned the Fish and Wildlife Service of the United States regarding the hunting of lions in Africa. The United States, their petition said, is by far the largest importer of hunting trophies from Tanzania. Something which is going on right now, as we are discussing, there was this proposal of um, listing the African lion in the Endangered Species Act of the United States. Uh, we are just hopeful and we are praying. We have many lions, which I'm sure with the measures, protection measures which we are putting in, we can conduct this industry sustainably. We are just hopeful that we can be understood on that and be allowed to continue with uh, these very limited, very conservative quotas of hunting. These outsiders have no thought as to how such a decision would affect the people of Tanzania economically or what the actual outcome would be for the lions in Tanzania. That you somehow uh, disrupt hunting of the lion, then you're likely going to destroy the industry. And once the industry is destroyed, then where are the financial and political will come from to maintain the 30% area in Tanzania that is uh, protected? The Americans are responsible hunters. Okay, most of them that we know, apart from, you, know, you would every now and then get individuals, eh? but yeah, they are very responsible and very uh, nature conservation uh, minded. So once you prevent such a group eh, from participating in this, who knows who will come in and fill up that gap? And will they not be more detrimental to the system? Okay, I mean, how do you know that? Now we have, for example, an emerging market now of um, lion bone, okay? We are not seeing it yet in Tanzania, but I can see it coming in the, in the near future, okay? So imagine, you know, because we will struggle as much as possible to, get the, to keep the industry uh, going, okay? But if we're getting less, less responsible conservation hunters, okay, that could actually even have a more adverse effect on, uh, on lion conservation than uh, one can imagine. I mean, we're seeing it even w w within other, other countries. So that is something that I think the American public has to, 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 to understand. Yeah, and I would, you know, take pride by the fact that, um, uh, you know, you're responsible hunters, okay? Yeah, you just need to be made perhaps uh, better aware and uh, make sure that you contribute more substantially to protecting um, uh, the land. Uh, at the moment, the wisest way forward is to keep this sort of conservation activity and tool in place in these uh, uh, rural areas. If these people are successful, they will prevent Tanzania from pulling in approximately $70 million a year earned from hunting, money that the Tanzanian government currently applies toward the conservation and management of the lions. The American hunters contribute a significant proportion in the hunting industry. Okay? Now, so that will be the immediate impact. We will lose those. We will lose all that money. It will be extremely difficult to convince our government that this country really, you know, especially the game reserves where this hunting used to take place, that they should continue to be conserved for wildlife conservation, simply because it will now be the government finding money to support the management of these areas. And that's not easy to come by, especially not in developing countries. We are struggling to provide health care, and of course that takes priority one. Providing education to our populations, that is you know, another priority. Wildlife conservation is somewhere down there the line. 
if you can generate money to support yourself, that's fine. We will support you. If you cannot, we are sorry. What does it mean? They will be doomed to die. It will be a gradual death and they will disappear. That's the one thing which I can say for sure. Without that money, you cannot do anti-poaching work. There is always that pressure. You will have a smaller force. You will have you'll have no resources to protect that area. And that's how you lose. So that's what will happen in terms of management. Are these animal rights activists and conservationists willing or able to raise the money the Tanzanian government would lose by not allowing the hunting to continue? Are they worried about the people? So if you stop this business, well, this lands will be shot because they'll be killing people. They'll be shot for, for nothing. These petitions, articles and blogs calling for the lion to be put on the endangered species list all overlook the devastating economic consequences for the people of Tanzania and the fact that such sanctions, according to the experts, could inevitably lead to the demise of the lion and possibly the entire surrounding ecosystem.